Hey guys, so welcome to part two of my tutorial series. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be creating the actual GUI, the actual Tekinta GUI. Um, and we're going to be using the object oriented approach um, to do so. So if we just get started, what we're going to do is import Tekinta as TK. Okay, now what you may see is some um, people do tutorials, they will show you to do this from Tikinta import start. So what that's basically saying is um, from the Tikinta module, just import everything. Now, from a conventional standpoint on being Pythonic, um, it's bad practice to do so because as your project expands, you may have classes or functions that have similar names or the same name. And by importing star, um, it can lead to a lot of confusion and can create bugs. So it's also, it's always best to explicitly know what you're importing. So that's why I do import Tikinta as TK. And I don't use this wildcard import here. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so we imported our Tikinta module. Now, another thing you may see is a lot of, well, people do root equals TK dot TK. And then the root dot uh, main loop. So then if I run this, right click, run, that's pretty much the Tekinta GUI created. The thing with this approach is it's good for a small script, but if you're doing a script such as ours, where you're going to have multiple files, you want to take the more object oriented approach. So we're going to not do this. So now to take this approach, what we're going to do is we're going to create a class. We're going to call this class application. And this application class is going to inherit from tk.tk. .tk. It's that same tk.tk .tk that I showed you earlier, just a second ago. So now what this is saying is the application class here, our application class is going to inherit from tk.tk. .tk. So all of the um, attributes and methods from this class, we're going to have access to those in this application or an instance of this application class. So we do that. And then we're going to create our constructor. So def underscore underscore init underscore underscore self. So now what this is saying is, um, so this is our constructor. So when you create a instance of this class, this is the first bit of code that's going to run. So it's going to construct like our class instance. So it's going to run whatever block of code is within this um, init. Um, constructor and self is basically referring to an instance of this application class. Okay, and then next is we're going to do the constructor for our um, tk.tk .tk class. So I'm going to use super, and we're not going to be doing any uh, multiple inheritance, which is what super tends to be used for, but this is a more Pythonic and the newer way of um, using inheritance in Python. So we don't, as you can see, we don't have to explicitly mention where we're inheriting from. So normally you might see this as um, people doing tk.tk, .tk, but hey, we don't need to, we can just use super. So say like if we're inheriting from like a particular class and the name of the class changes, if we use super, um, we won't need to change the name of all of the um, places where it's being inherited from. Um, so you can just leave it as super. And if you have multiple inheritance, then you'd also use super as well to inherit from like multiple classes. So that's what super is. And this is the constructor for the constructor for this tk.tk .tk class. Okay. So now we're going to do, we're going to do self.title and we're going to call it wordsmith. So this is going to be the title of our GUI. And as you can see, self, I'm using self here because self.title is a part of the tk.tk .tk class, but because we're inheriting it, we get access to it. So that's why I can reference it here without you seeing title at all in this application class. Okay. And then what we're going to do is mainframe is equal to tk dot frame self height. We're just gonna make that equal one for now, just for a second and width equals one. So now 
every Takinta widget needs a parent or a master. So self in this instance is tk.tk, .tk, which is root. So our frame is going to be tied to root, which is the application. So that's the parent or master of this particular widget. And as for the height and width, um, we're going to create a const two constant variables for that. So app underscore height equals, let's say, 600. And app underscore width equals 1024. So now other programming languages, they have a constant variable that you can assign, um, that constant um, type that you can assign to a variable. Python doesn't have that. So we imply it by putting the variable in all capitals. And effectively, what it means by constant is that it shouldn't change. So the app height is stuck at um, 600, and the width is stuck at 1024. And then we're just going to assign it here. So the height is equal to app underscore height, and the width is equal to app underscore width. OK. And then we're going to do main frame, main underscore frame dot pack underscore propagate. And we're going to set that to zero. So effectively, what this is saying is that for this mainframe widget, any objects that are packed inside it, they shouldn't determine the size of this mainframe widget. So you may find in some cases, when you have a um, frame, if you pack objects inside it, your, your frame changes size based on those widgets. So what pack propagate is basically saying is don't do that at all. Okay, and then we're going to pack our frame. So main underscore frame dot pack fill equals both. So we're going to fill both the x and y axis of um, the master, which is our root. So we're going to fill um, the frame. The, the frame, sorry, is going to fill the root window, both on the x and y axis. And then we're going to say expand equals true. So effectively, what this is saying is, say like if the size of the root window changes, then expand the frame um, to fit into that size. OK, and then what we're going to do, we're going to say self.resizable is 0, 0 on both axes. So effectively, what this means is that um, the root window um, it's going to be immutable, so the size of the window cannot change. And the reason why I do that is because I like to use place a lot. And if the screen is maximized or minimized, it tends to look messy, in my opinion. So I just like to fix the size of the GUI. So this means the GUI can't be changed in size. OK. Now, the other um, thing we're going to set is self.geometry. And we're going to create an F string. And it's going to be, so the width is going to be app underscore width. Uh, sorry, width x app underscore height, app underscore height. And what extra enable basically enables us to do is pass these um, variables directly into the string. Now, self.geometry, this is basically saying that the size of our root window should be at width times at, um, at height. And you can also um, do like plus, I think, I believe it's plus 200 or plus like any other number. It doesn't have to be 200, but that'll basically just determine the st um, starting point of the um, GUI. So if you start to get to GUI, it tends to start from like the top left, but you can determine where it actually starts on the screen um, through self.geometry. But um, we're not going to be doing that here. OK, so this should pretty much be our class, our root window for our GUI. Um, now, the last bit of code we need for this video is if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore, then run this block of code. So root is equal to application and root dot main loop. Okay, and then we're going to see if we can run this. So let's right click, run WordSmith. 
and here's our application. So as you can see, the title's wordsmith is started at the top left, but that can be changed in self.geometry. And you can't you can't change the size of the um, the GUI because they're resizable. Cool. And what you see in gray, that's our frame. Okay, so let's close this. Okay, so I just want to quickly explain something. So if underscore underscore name equals underscore underscore main, what it's basically saying is every single Python file is assigned a underscore underscore name underscore underscore attribute. Now, if you're running a file direct, if you're running directly from a file, so if I'm running this particular wordsmith.py, the um, name attribute that's going to be assigned to it is going to be called main. And if I'm running this from a different file, so say if I import it from something else, the name that's going to be assigned to it is wordsmith.py. So effectively, what this is saying is if you're running this file, like this particular file, then execute this block of code. So now the reason why this works here, root, is because application is inheriting from tk.tk. .tk. So this actually creates the GUI window. And then through that, we can access the main loop because remember this is inheriting it. So we also inherit the main loop method. So that's how this block of code works. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. In the next video, um, we're going to create the menu bar and maybe the views. Um, but yeah, I'll get to that. So see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye.